Everyday Kentucky, weekdays at 9 a.m. on WKYT. Welcome to CBS Mornings on this Wednesday, August 10th. I'm Tony DeCopel. I'm Nate Burleson. And I'm Nancy Cordes. Gail is on assignment, but we're in good hands. And here's today's eye-opener, Your World in 90 Seconds. What the FBI just did was totally unacceptable. The FBI, when it comes to Trump, has lost their way. Former President Trump supporters lash out after the FBI searches his Florida home at Mar-a-Lago. A suspect is charged in connection with two of the four recent murders of Muslim men in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're continuing to investigate his involvement in the other crimes. Gas prices continue to fall in the right direction. The national average has dropped to just about four bucks a gallon. We could see the national average falling another 15 to 30 cents a gallon. Tennis great Serena Williams says she plans to retire. We'll look back at her legacy. One of the greatest to ever do it. One of the greatest to ever do any sport. A dramatic plane crash in Southern California. The small plane crashing onto a freeway in Corona. Thousands of beagles rescued from a biomedical breeding facility in Virginia. Ready to finally be adopted. Machado to deep left and deep and far into the San Diego night. He'll walk it off. Three run home run for Manny Machado. FBI raided Donald Trump's house in Mar-a-Lago. The FBI people. The FBI raid is all part of an ongoing investigation launched by the National Archives and Records Administration. That's right. He's going to get taken down by the librarians. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, baby. They're organized. They know where everything is, and you never know. Eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Welcome to CBS Mornings. Quiet is the word because no one knows much of anything about what's going on in Mar-a-Lago. Not even Nancy Cordes is visiting us from D.C. Welcome. Hey, don't mess with librarians. Yeah, I, watch out. <laughs> right about that. And this show is going to be one for the books. There's a lot to talk about, including a milestone moment in tennis. Serena Williams hinted at retirement after she won her first match in more than a year. Now the winner of 23 Grand Slam titles confirms she is just about done. We'll show you her very personal essay in Vogue magazine where she talks about about making an unfair choice. Interesting. Plus, the Humane Society's largest ever rescue operation for animals. Volunteers are at this hour helping thousands of beagles being saved from a breeding facility that's accused of treating them badly. They're on your screen right now. I'm being told the official term for these is cutie pie. <laughs> and you're going to see how they're being retrained for happy lives with loving families. Maybe yours. Not mine, but yours. They are adorable, <laughs> they and there are. are a lot of them that need a good home. Uh, but we begin with new information this morning about the unprecedented FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. Former President Trump had nothing to say, just a thumbs up after meeting with a dozen conservative House Republicans last night at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Sources tell CBS News the search warrant is part of an investigation into classified material that was taken by the former president. Mr. Trump calls it a, quote, coordinated attack. Chief Washington correspondent Major Garrett is outside Mar-a-Lago with new details about the FBI's search. Major, good morning. 